here, dude. We're here. Saskatoon, here we come. Long. Four states, five states, couple countries. <laughs> Finally getting here. One more day of travel, we'll be there. Hoping the rods are okay, you never know. We'll see what happens. One more day and we'll be there. <laughs> Let's go fishing. Well, I'm getting squashed like a bug, but. It's not bad. It's perfect. Car is squashed. Mm, yeah. We got a car for $3.50 a day. I'm gonna come up here and I gotta spend time with my dad and my kid. And we just get to catch fish, and my uncle's here, and my, my good buddies. I mean, we bring a group every year. It's great times. So we're here with all of our buddies up in Saskatchewan getting some gear, because these guys haven't been here before, but uh, in a few reels, in a few uh, loaded with, with braid, braid line. We use braid up here because a lot, of, a lot of tulies and weeds, and it just saws right through it. But that's your tech tip of the day. Always make sure when you're using braid to tape your line onto the spool because it, it starts spinning and you got to start grabbing it by hand. You'll never get it in and the stuff will cut you. This is probably one of the one of the funnest trips that we get to do every year. Let's go scare my dad. And he's got tackle up there. Oh, that's disgusting. You see those now. You see these and this is what they eat, man. Because Jigs, walleyes. Very we'll good. Color. We're here at Cabela's getting some Johnson Silver Minnows and MEP spinners. It's kind of our annual load up for the drive to LaRange to get to the Sportsman's Lodge. Quite a bit overboard, but that's okay. We're having fun. Did a little local support here at Cabela's. Got about uh, everything we need plus five years. And uh, let's hit it. Last year, we, we caught 116 fish over 36 inches here at, at the lodge. Um, so that's kind of a record that we're kind of trying to break. Um, we have a good chance of doing that this year. There's some giant, giant pike here. After we got to Cabela's, we started on our three and a half hour drive. And now we're unloading all the gear into the baskets, load on the float plane, then we're off to the Sportsman's Lodge. We made it here to LaRange. Uh, rained all the way up here. Blue sky when we got here, a little cloudy, but not too bad. Getting ready to go. We'll get on this uh, Twin Otter, take us all into uh, Sportsman's, Rufo Sportsman's Lodge uh, for about one week of pure blue sky fishing. Should be good. We got survival equipment in the tail, locator transmitters in the tail. Your life jackets are in the seat pockets in front of you if you need them. Remember, inflate them outside the aircraft, not inside. <laughs> Hi, Reggie. How you doing? Yeah, good. Hey, Clay, how you doing? Nice to see you, buddy. Great to see you. Long time. Yeah, 365. Exactly. My name is Rufo Schindler, and I own and operate Sportsman's Lodge up in northern Saskatchewan, Canada, uh, about uh, 50 miles north of a town by the name of LaRange on the Churchill River system. Just landed at Sportsman's Lodge. Just got met up with Rufo. So excited to be back. Our home's right over there for the next six, seven days. So excited to be back here and to catch some giant pike. Connor, it's just kind of fun to have him here so we can kind of play together and mess around, fish. The weather the whole time was rough when we got out of the airport and we got on the float plane. It was pouring rain in LaRange, but when we got here it was blue skies and it was just beautiful. We're up here at uh, our annual trip at Rufo's Lodge, and uh, you guys are in for a great treat. Triple Beard, the first all-lead turkey load from the makers of Heavy Shot. Speedball technology reduces defamation on setback keeping the pellets more uniform and reduces the pancake effect of lead. 
Magnum Blend technology, which is a mix of five, sixes, and sevens, lets you take gobblers at any range, whether it's up close and personal or you gotta reach out and touch one. It's available in three and three and a half inch 12 gauge, as well as three inch 20 gauge. Check out the new Triple Beard at HeavyShot.com. Breakfast and fish. Breakfast, day one. A little breakfast here. Uh, rain for last four or five days up here. We should have some good fishing today. Good morning, guys. Morning. I got some sausage, some toast, and some bacon. It's just a great feeling to be up here and great weather and just a whole lot of fun. This is probably one of the one of the funnest trips that we get to do every year. We get to come up here and I get to spend time with my dad and my kid, and we just get to catch fish. And my uncles here and my, my good buddies. I mean, we bring a group every year. It's great times. Ah. Conditions are perfect, perfect. We need chop on the water. We're going to Black Bear Lake. Uh, Real bright, sunny, and uh, we're gonna catch some fish. It's great to be here because it's a father-son trip and my grandpa and my uncle are here and some of our greatest friends. That was a big one. That was a big one. See that? <laughs> okay. Oh, nice one. <laughs> it was just tap, 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 and just pounded it. Did you see that take? Completely out of the water. Oh, come on, baby. I got a lot of salad. I can't tell you how how good a feeling that is to come up here and do some fishing with your kids, your dad, and your family, and your good friends. And uh, it just doesn't get any better than that. That was cool. You came out completely out of the water. Look at that one. I've caught, how many, 16? You've caught 15? So we got a little, little gentleman's wager of uh, $20 for the biggest fish and $20 for the most fish. Right now he's winning the most fish and I'm winning the biggest fish. I'm gonna hang a toad right here. I've had a follower of a big fish. You've had followers, hits, I'm doing. Oh, it's a giant. It's a giant. It's a giant. Oh, you ready yet? I'm ready. Ready yet? Oh, loosen the 
Well, it is what we call a full American plan package, where it's your boats, motors, gas. You have a guide every day for every two fishermen. Uh, all the cabins are fully modern. Uh, um, you have propane heat. Uh, uh, they're all fully furnished. Uh, you have a nice main lodge, dining room facilities where you're served your breakfast and supper. And of course, you get a shore lunch of freshly caught fish out on the lake every lunch. Wow. Glad you guys are fishing for walleyes. Yeah. You need to We're start. Hunt. You need, you need giants. You need to start throwing meat rods with meat sticks for meat fish. Yeah. <laughs> meat head throwing yeah. meat sticks. Meat, meat, meat if you wanted to go somewhere easy to travel, I don't know, but if you wanted somewhere where there's really good fishing, I'd pick right here. I mean, there's major pike and there's big walleye. We have shore lunch every day. It's so good. You see, I mean, that might have been the problem, huh? Could have been, I think. We put it down there on the shaft. Yeah. I was having problems here. Put a little stuff in it and get it fixed back up. There's a little piece of stick inside that. Hopefully that was the issue. Really haven't had, ever had any problems with these reels, so. I could, I'm not sure, but I could say that these are probably the world's biggest pike because I don't, I haven't heard of anywhere else that you're pulling 10, 40 inch pike out every day and catching 100 on top of that. You know, a lot of small fish come up and can't fit it in their mouth and they hit the back of it and that treble hook. Yeah. They can work fishing right. <laughs> right. Right. Big one? I think so. Felt like a big one. It's not fighting like a big one. You need a hit like a big one? Oh, I took a bunch of wine right off the bat. Good weight. Pretty, pretty weight. We fish with our same guide every year, but uh, I mean, you come up here and they got really good guys. They're Cree Indian guys and they've been here forever. And it's just an amazing, they're, they're, they do an amazing job. Definitely. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a giant. 
right when it hit the water, I cranked it one time and he just smoked it. shoulders on him too. That's awesome. That makes you Dude, that thing is giant. Finally got my big end on the trip. That is a, that's a 20 plus pound fish. Uh, my favorite fish that day was my 44 incher that had shoulders. I could hardly even hold that thing. It had to be 30 pounds. Rufo, I've gotten to know a little bit up here over the three years that we've been here, and, and uh, I've been on a lot of guided adventures in my life all over the world. I'll tell you right now, you never meet a more honest guy than Rufo Schiller. It's, it's always nice to see fathers when they bring their sons, you know, especially the young fellows, because of course, you know, we hope as an industry, as an outfitting industry, that, that those young fellows will be our, our future clients, you know. And, and it's just a great, great to see the dads bring their kids, you know. And one of the big advantages to bring a, a kid fishing up here is that they will catch fish. I mean, um, so the rod will be bending and they won't be looking at dad saying, you know, what are we doing here, you know. Uh, so they'll have a lot of fun and, and they will catch a lot of fish. two fish were 36, 37 inches. We didn't measure them. Two big, heavy giants. It's really cool to have my dad and my grandpa here, especially my grandpa, because me and him never get really quality time never get to go out in the backwoods and have fun with each other like fishing and it's really great to be out here with both of them and be able to do that kind of stuff. wrapped in weeds. Mine is not a good one. Mine is a oh, oh, giant. Look at that guy. That's a 35 pound fish. <laughs> well, we just doubled up and caught another giant today. Uh, so far we got a 40, 42. We'll measure this one up and see what he is and let him go. Through that Cisco like five times right there. I was getting the weeds. I go, I gotta keep throwing, it's a big fish bait, and it's really weedy in here. And there's a shoal coming across here, we were in here earlier, and he saw the fish swim away from his motor, 
and uh, we went off the bay and then we, he said, we're going to go back to that spot. We came back. I cast this thing, just cha I changed the bait from the silver minnow to the, to the Cisco and boom. Mine and my dad's highlight of the trip was probably the day that we went to Black Bear Lake. Boom! 100 fish. That's a day right there. 11 fish over 36 inches and 100 fish. I will definitely be back at Rufo Sportsman's Lodge. This is the best place I've ever fished at. They're trying to confirm if they have weapons or not. Eagle 6, Saber 3. Roger, we're through the area. Negative contact. Saber 3, Eagle 6. Where can you find out where they are? Man, they just come up there to the north or south. Yeah. Man, you could look at the phone phone. All right, these guys definitely got weapons. The wreckage of this life can build you tear you down what motivates you when there's no one else around <laughs>